Hi everyone, Lacey and Broody here again from History with Cats, and we're here today with the first episode of our spooky history series, where we are going to be giving you some interesting historical background behind some tales that might just keep you up at night. And we thought that we would kick off this series with one of England's most famous haunted castles, Dudley Castle in the Midlands. Now, Dudley Castle was originally built on the site in the year 1071, so it should come as no surprise that this particular castle has its fair share of ghosts. But the ghost that we are going to be telling you about today is one of Dudley Castle's most popular, and she is known simply as the Grey Lady. Now, Brutus, as a Grey Lady herself, feels a particular connection to this ghost, so we thought that she would be a good choice for the first episode in this series. Some people think that the Grey Lady might be the ghost of Dorothy Beaumont, who lived at the castle with her husband in the 1640s. Now, Dorothy's husband was a commander in the Royalist Army, so he had a lot of enemies with the parliamentarians. Dorothy and her husband had an infant daughter who unfortunately passed away in the middle of this conflict in the 1640s, and Dorothy herself died soon after. Now, the castle was under siege when Dorothy died, and her death wish was that she would be buried next to her infant daughter and that her husband would be able to attend her funeral. But due to the siege, neither wish was granted, and rumor has it that Dorothy still haunts the grounds today sad and lonely and forever stuck in Dudley Castle. Now, I hope that you won't encounter any ghosts anytime soon, and I know Broody and I are both hoping to avoid them, but their stories, although sad, are interesting to learn about. We'll post a supposed picture of the gray lady in this thread. We hope you enjoyed this episode. We'll see you next time.